Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you happen to be new here, welcome to The Pain Itself. So in today's video, I'm excited to share with you an idea that you can recreate using an old or thrifted cabinet door or any other piece of wood that you may have laying around your house. So for my project, I'm actually going to be using this piece of wood that used to be an old tabletop and I found it at our local Habitat for Humanity for only $3. Originally, my plan was to use this as a pumpkin patch sign, so I decided to sand it down and smooth out a lot of those scratches because I was going to restain it and then add lettering to it. However, I do have another cabinet door that I decided I would use for that idea. So for this old tabletop wood piece, I wanted to create something that I could change out from season to season. I love flower boxes and we had several of these drawer fronts from old dresser drawers that we got at an estate sale or somewhere for about a dollar a piece and we bought them years and years ago. We have used those drawers to make storage side tables and even a tall hall tree which I absolutely loved and I hope we'll make another one one day. Now for this project I decided to use the drawer front as a little garden box and since it's for fall I decided to call it a pumpkin patch box. Now because we were going to use this last year for a different project, my husband had already cut off all of the drawer fronts, so I just needed a little shallow box attached to the back of it. And so he just used some scrap wood and made some short sides and a little bottom for it. And then he just attached the drawer front to our backboard. I did decide to leave the hardware holes because eventually I want to find a really pretty dresser pull and add it to the front. As always, I used Crud Cutter Gloss Off to prep the surface for paint. I used Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint in the color Little Black Dress for my first layer. For the next three layers, I'm just using leftover paint that I already had on hand. All of these paints are DIY homemade chalk paint that I created just by adding Plaster of Paris to regular house paint.
I always allow each coat to dry before adding the next, unless I'm going for a blended look. The options are really endless for this project, so paint or stain your piece however you want so that it suits your decor style. I wanted a distressed and chippy look for this piece, so I used a putty knife to scrape off some of the paint in various areas. I then sanded the entire piece to smooth out the finish just a bit, and then I did end up going back and touching up the paint where I removed a little too much. Now this thankful sign is from Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure you can find one very similar at any other store around you, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Michaels, or Target, and you can use different words if you'd like. I just liked this thankful sign and wanted to incorporate it into this project. To make the thankful sign a lot richer and warmer, I decided to stain it in this color, Provincial by Rust-Oleum. To protect the paint on the garden box, I used this clear matte varnish by Waverly. It says it's for indoor or outdoor use, and it is non-yellowing. It's basically like polycrylic. And here is how the first part of the project turned out. Now, I know a lot of times you all have requested to see a step-by-step -step process, but I just play around with whatever I have on hand and I keep switching it around until I'm happy with it. And so this is how that process goes.
So I finally settled on an orange pumpkin in the center for now. I did want it to coordinate with my other arrangements, so I did use hydrangeas, a purple cabbage, orange berries, and certain greeneries that I used in my other arrangements. I really loved how everything turned out, but it did need some pine cones, which I had already packed away, so I went and grabbed a few out of the box, and I added those to the display. I still felt like this pumpkin patch box needed a little something extra, so I added a set of fairy lights for a soft glow. I really hope that you enjoyed this DIY project and that it inspires you to create your own out of items you may have on hand or you can find at a thrift store. And this display can also be hung on a wall, inside or used outside on your front porch to welcome guests just by swapping out the thankful sign to one that says welcome. I will definitely be changing out this display for each season of the year. I already have several ideas in mind, so I'm super excited about how this turned out. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you did like this video. Share it with your friends on social media. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Also, make sure you click on the notification bell and select the option All so you won't miss any future videos. I wish you all the best, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.